A group is on a mission to raise awareness about suicide among veterans and first responders. They're walking from Fort Liberty to Camp Lejeune and back. WRAL Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays explains it's a 222 mile march to try and understand their pain. So if you're walking along Highway 24 in Sampson County today, you'll see these guys and gals. They're walking 222 miles for suicide prevention for veterans and first responders. This is the beginning of something big. These veterans and first responders are on a 222 mile mission. They're walking from just outside of Fort Liberty in Fayetteville to Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Carolina and back. J.P. Sorrentes started Let's Walk It Out in 2021. He says it's a way to help veterans and first responders get off the path that leads to suicide. The way we do that is through the rock march. We are in pain every single day, and it's about resiliency. It's about keep pushing through and making it to the next spot. The marchers carry a flag with the names of service members and first responders who have killed themselves over the years. Names like Alex Logan. His friends called him Cowboy. Earl Watson had a smile and a personality that would light up a room. Anthony Peterson says he's making the 222-mile ruck march for one of his best friends, Mark Cofield. What happened there? Uh, he was the first one I lost to suicide when I was on my first appointment. And, uh, and he, he was uh, the guy you never expected. He was the guy that was working out with you all the time and then just unfortunately made his own choice. Yana Sandino is a police officer from Puerto Rico. She came to join the ruck march for a fellow officer. She says that fellow officer moved to the States about a year ago and unfortunately killed his wife and killed himself. Just about every step is in memory of a service member or first responder who took his or her own life. Organizers say it's a way to remember them, but hopefully it's a way to give others a reason to keep on living. So 222 miles, that's the goal. They'll be at Camp Lejeune by Monday and back in Fayetteville by April 20th. So there's plenty of time for you to come out and join them and support them. In Sampson County, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. Wow, you got to commend them for that. You can follow the group's progress and find out ways that you can help on their website. We have that information with this story on WREL.com.